Welcome to the Weekday Report for Thursday, March 6th. I'm Tracy Peleshek. Here's a brief look at the news. A man who killed his girlfriend, then left her body in a car in a Chicago parking lot, has pleaded guilty to reckless homicide and hiding a corpse. Kenosha resident Matthew McDowell told police that during an argument, he put his hands around the neck of his girlfriend, Erin Ziemendorf, heard a cracking sound, and then found she wasn't breathing. He put her body into his trunk and drove to Chicago. After returning, he turned himself into police. He's due to be sentenced in June. The City Council is going to debate funding sources for repairs to Fire Station No. 5 on Washington Road. Significant cracks in the floor have weakened it so much that fire trucks can't park on that section anymore. Some officials want to use funds earmarked for another fire department project. The mayor and fire chief believe the money can come from the capital improvement plan. The State Building Commission has approved a $284,000 renovation of the Vern Wolf Lake Dam at Bong State Recreation Area. Repairing the dam will restore the lake there. The lake level was drawn down last year after the dam failed and inspectors had to check it. They found the dam needed extensive work. Construction is scheduled to begin in September and be completed in December. Now, Deneen Smith has a heartbreaking story about a little dog that appears to have been seriously abused. An abused dog is getting a second chance thanks to a Kenosha veterinarian and a local rescue group. Hani, a a one-and-a-half-year-old chihuahua, arrived at Kenosha Animal Hospital last week unable to walk. The owners said the dog had been injured when she was stuck under a fence, but the dog had multiple fractures of different ages, and the veterinarians believe the dog was abused. Two broken legs, and then upon x-rays, they found broken ribs that had already been healed over, so it was a previous injury. She also had bruising around the eye. Okay. So, and it looks like it was a kick injury, some of these, so. She was surrendered to Kenosha Forgotten Friends, a rescue group that takes in tough to place animals. Honey's had two surgeries in an attempt to repair the fractures to both back legs. The rescue group is trying to raise money to pay for her veterinary bills. This is Deneen Smith reporting for the Kenosha News. The UW Parkside men's basketball team has moved up a spot to number seven in the NCAA Division II Midwest Region Rankings. The top eight teams from each of eight regions make the NCAA Tournament, which begins March 15th. This is the final ranking before the tournament bracket is revealed. What's trending today? Cha-ching! Folks who are expecting income tax refunds are starting to get them. If you're getting money back, do you intend to splurge, save, a little of both? Tell us on Facebook. Brian and Liz are next with their entertainment ideas. Hi, I'm Brian Sharkey. And I'm Liz Snyder with your entertainment news. This week, there's a whole lot of arts happening at Carthage College. That's right. The college is hosting its first Fine Arts Weekend Friday through Sunday. Highlights include the world premiere of the play No Name. That's about two young women who must plot to reclaim their family's wealth. The college is also hosting art shows, a dance performance, and concerts on the campus. And all events are open to the public. UW Parkside is also getting into the arts game. They have a play opening this weekend, too. How I Learned to Drive is a coming-of-age story that tackles tough subjects like incest. Because of the serious themes involved, the theater department is hosting discussion groups after the performances. And elsewhere, new movies opening this weekend include The Greeks and Persians, Battling It Out in 300, Rise of an Empire, and the animated feature, Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Mr. Peabody is about a genius dog and his boy who traveled through time using their Wayback Machine. Hey, maybe they can take us way back to summer. That would be nice. <laughs> For all these stories and more, see Friday's Get Out Entertainment section. I'm Brian Sharkey. I'm Liz Snyder. Get, Get out, out and, and have, have some, some fun. fun. Thanks, Brian and Liz. Now here's a look at what we're working on today. The price of gas just keeps going up. James Lawson is out talking with drivers, filling up at the pumps. And Janine Anderson has spoken with fire officials about the importance of clearing snow from hydrants. Pick up a copy of the Kenosha News and check kenoshanews.com for all the details on these stories and more. I'm Tracy Palaszczuk with the Weekday Report.